Sega. Which quest would you like? Excuse me, I was spacing out a little bit. No, no, I'm not hurt. I was just thinking. My friend found out that I was slacking and skipping out on my arc's work. I thought she'd be mad at me, but she was oddly nice about it. She told me not to overwork myself. At first, I felt like she'd forgiven me, but then those words really started to sting. She wanted to be an arc's operative, but she can't. So I should be working hard in her place, and yet it's so frustrating. It's as if she feels like my laziness is her fault. I hate it. It's not her fault at all. It's mine. Zeno, you're not together? He'd give me an enjoyable fight at least. <laughs> the one time he doesn't annoyingly butt in. What a bore. As usual, he's never any help when push comes to shove. <laughs> <laughs> He really hasn't changed a bit. I might just bust a gut laughing. I wonder who you'll turn out like. Zeno or me? I'm pissing myself waiting to find out. Come on, Cena. Don't bother asking me about it. I'm not the least bit interested in whatever transpired between Master Gedimhold and Zeno. Good day.
Don't mind me. I was simply observing, for combat reference. Still, it's fascinating. You have more than just sharp senses. You have extremely high prowess in other aspects as well. Yours is a most reassuring presence to your fellow Arcs, but... I, I never mentioned it before, did I? I too am with Arcs, in a sense. You and I are essentially on the same side, so you don't need to be wary around me. That's enough observation for today. That accursed dragon must have hidden it. Oh, so you're here too. That weapon's here, right? There's talk of that masked jerk being sighted, too. Hey, um, this line of conversation is freaking me out. Let's just hurry up and go! I don't want to hang around a terrifying place like this. Unfortunately for you, we're here to search every nook and cranny of this terrifying place. So, you want to go back alone, or...? N no Leaving you two on your own is way too dangerous! Uh-huh. Sure. Well, hey, since we've run into each other, let's all stick together, yeah? Though the question is, how do we go about searching? Uh, uh, Draconian? Is he an enemy? Calm down, Echo. It doesn't seem like it. I am stress. I grant you to you. You have saved our lives. And I have a message for you. There is one who waits for you. If you proceed west of you, I was told that there was something to be entrusted to you. My plan is fulfilled. I will depart. You are free. To go or not to go. Whew! 
That was intense. So that's how draconians speak, huh? Well, I guess it's more like telepathy than speaking. Anyway, apparently someone's waiting west of here. It didn't seem like a trap. What do you want to do? I'll leave our route up to you. And, uh, Echo? How long are you planning on clinging to me? Huh? I'm not clinging to you! I was holding you back because I thought you might leap at him! What kind of brain-dead idiot do you think I am, exactly? Hey, a draconian! Looks like they were waiting for you. You have come, child of Arx. So, when the draconian was talking about someone waiting, it was you. I did not summon you. I too am but a bearer of words. Regardless, I am impressed. You and the researcher were able to have dialogue with the call. Nay, that is not all. You have opened the way to further progress. I am grateful to have encountered you. Grateful to Terry Drop. I have chatted over long. The meaning of my words will become clear once you proceed further within beyond this point you are expected proceed child of arcs this is kind of exciting what's waiting for us farther in <laughs> be careful there could still be traps why don't you just go back already Hard to believe you're in arcs when your knees are shaken from your fear of heights. Shut up! Hey, it's the masked bastard from the tundra! Of all the times for them to show their ugly face.
Give me my way, and I'll kill you. <sighs> That's a good one. Maybe your proper meeting will teach you to respect us. Be gone. You bar me. Huh? I thought they said we were expected. I don't see anybody here. Welcome, child of Alex. I hear a voice echoing in my head. You were draconian? Was it you who called our friend here? Indeed it was. While the Dracoons once upheld their isolation to the winds of change began to blow. The cause undoubtedly lies within you. I thank you. Huh. I do get the impression that something about the Draconian's demeanor has changed. But you didn't call us out here just to thank us, did you, Camise of Ro? You are correct. I have something to give you. But first, I would ascertain something. If you have power enough to handle it. You want to see what we've got? Your reward better be worth the trouble. Oh. <laughs> 
Whew, we made it. I'm starting to believe it less and less when a draconian says they're getting serious. You fight a draconian on even footing despite your small stature. Your existence is more miraculous than ours, in my view. You draconians are aggressive, but I wonder if that's because you are always on edge. Now, to the matter at hand, I presume this is why you visited us in recent times. It was simply there one day, quiet, dormant. But not long ago, it awoke. As for why, we may not. It seemed to desire something. That is when you appeared. A covenant for a covenant. A boon for a boon. With that in mind, I would entrust this to you. I hope you will take it. of anxiety and headaches. I just don't understand. Sorry. I'm okay, really. A little headache isn't going to keep me down. I feel much more at ease now that you're safe. <laughs> Most of my bad feelings never pan out into anything, do they? That's frustrating in its own way, of course. Yeah, I know. I'll make sure to get lots of rest. I wouldn't want you fretting over me. You found it! Yes, yes, this is it! Now I can restore it to its former glory. Thank you. I'll take it from here. I can't wait to see what sort of gleam this weapon will have when it's done. My heart dances in excitement. Not only that, I can already see ideas for new weapons bubbling up left and right. I don't think I've ever been more inspired in my life. There are so many things I want to make now, but I also want to hurry and restore this weapon. Oh, the hell with it. I don't have time to stand around talking. I'm heading back to my workshop on the Themis. I'll let you know right away as soon as I'm done restoring it. Just give me the time to get the work done. Divergence Matrix has been born. Redress the balance and uncover an answer. No matter what trials await you, your discoveries will eventually bear fruit. It will take the form it is meant to take. Therefore, I urge you to press forward single-mindedly without hesitation. I trust that this will be the path that leads you to the answer at the root of all things.
how's it going? You're looking pretty chipper. <laughs> I'm a little pooped myself. It's such a pain dealing with endless hordes of false spawn. I want to give each and every one of them the attention they deserve, but... There are just too many these days. It's fun, fun, fun mowing down a whole bunch now and then. But things are getting out of hand. I love ending them, but I don't want them to end me. Not one bit. I admit it. I'm selfish like that. Now if only these false bond would be good little baddies and die already! Or at least disappear forever, you know? I mean, there are a lot of things that I hate, but I hate false bond more than anything else. I hate them even more than people! <laughs> oh, don't worry. You're an exception. You're still on my keep around list. Here we are! Behold! Ark's most informed informant! It's me, Patty! Hi, Tia here. You know the great Arks? What's so great about them, you ask? Everything? Allow me to translate. She's referring to the Council of Six, the six members of Arks with absolute authority. Yeah! Those guys! I saw one in the flesh just recently! She was cooler than cool! It was like, well, bam! We only saw her from afar, so take that with a grain of salt. But their incredible strength is no mere rumor. They don't have those pompous titles for nothing. She was just a regular little girl by all appearances, but she was amazing! I wonder if I could reach that point if I tried. Not in a million years. You say I'm in high spirits? <laughs> you can tell, huh? I was granted special permission, and now I'm officially part of ARCS! Apparently, it's super rare for them to hire people without certain talents. The way I heard it, someone mega important in the top brass happened to see me trying my hardest and threw me a bone. I'm pretty surprised myself. It's just barely sinking in now that I'm telling you about it. Yes, yes, yes! I did it! This is great! Now I can finally talk to him with my head held high. It took long enough. I should thank you, too. Thank you for listening to me and for all your moral support. It helped me keep going. Guess we'll be Ark's co-workers from now on. See you around, follow operative. Um, hello there. Y you think I look happy? Gosh, do I really? I can see why you think so. I saw my friend smiling for the first time in ages. I guess it was infectious. I, I took the long way around, but I finally caught up with you, she said. She ribbed me plenty, too. But she had this genuine smile, like the one she used to have. It, it was such a relief. Then again... Maybe I was the one forcing myself all this time to be a bee, like her. So when she tells me not to force it, of course, it makes so much sense now. Uh, sorry, you're right here and I'm caught up in talking to myself. Basically, I'm feeling really dumb right now, but I think I'll be okay. Even if I do act dumb, she'll always be there to set me straight. Ah, 
It's you. More exploration today? You're working hard as ever, I see. You know each other? Great. Saves me the trouble of an introduction. Would you believe this one's been really nice to me lately? She's been helping me learn about draconian culture. She and I have a mutual interest. Everything she talks about is novel and incredibly interesting to me. Hmm? Right? Well... He needs to grow a pair, I swear. Who runs at the sight of a woman? That's just rude. <laughs> I'm honored you think so. How about I talk about the male and female perspective next? There you go. I'll probably be at this for a while. See you around, huh? Emergency alert. All hands emergency alert. A false fall intrusion has been detected in an ARP ship city block. A state of emergency has been declared. I repeat, this is a state of emergency. All ARPs, prepare to scramble and provide backup to the ARP ship under attack. A false spawn intrusion has been detected. ARP ship 128, Themis. A state of emergency has been declared. All ARPs, report to the quest counter and scramble. I repeat. We anticipate a false spawn presence across all portions of the city area. All ARCs, exercise your best judgment in securing the city area and ensuring its safety. All false spawns spotted on the streets are to be eradicated on site. Good luck, operatives. We anticipate a false spawn presence across all portions of the city area. All arcs, exercise your best judgment in securing the city area and ensuring all false spawns spotted on the streets are to be eradicated on site. Hey, me? I'll follow the emergency directive and scramble, of course. I'm part of ARCS. Master Gedimholt isn't here. I... I can handle myself alone. But, uh... Would you allow me to accompany you? Not indefinitely, just... For a time. That's all I ask. Please.
all of them. I don't think I've ever seen so many fall spawn in one place before. Where did such a massive swarm originate? I have no idea. Arx is going to suffer massive casualties from this. It won't be easy to recover from. Sometimes I'm not sure whether we're the ones hunting the fall spawn, or if the fall spawn are hunting us. Regardless, if we don't cut this off at the source, we'll be doomed. That's what I believe.
Styles. Uh, they caught me. Requesting assistance. Emergency. Code. Code. Protection. Protection.
Ah, excellent timing. You are both with Ox, yes? Could I request your assistance? Wait, that bright white plating. Are you Regius of the Council of Six? Indeed, I am. If you know of me, then I can skip the introductions. I'd heard you'd gone to Navarius. May I ask what you're doing here? <laughs> you are well informed. I am as much a part of Ox as anyone. It is only natural that I would come running to defend our stronghold. That said, the situation is stable, thanks to the efforts of our outstanding Ox operatives. I came too late to make a difference. I understand now. What can we assist you with? Ah, uh, nothing too demanding. I would like you to assist with guiding the civilians in their evacuation. I have my hands full dealing with stubborn castes who refuse to leave their workshops. Typical. You do not both need to assist. Either one of you would do. Ah, in that case I'll help. It would be a good fit for my abilities. In the meantime, please press onward and dispatch the false spawn. I believe the lady has spoken. Modern women think remarkably quickly on their feet. Let's make haste. We'll get this done more quickly if we split up. Hurry! Good grief. Falling behind someone like her makes me realize how much I've gotten on in years. I'd best not keep her waiting.
Emergency! Code! Yeah. <laughs> 